Hello my viewers and welcome back to another unboxing, viewing and testing and today I have this Reolink 10 port PoE switch with 120 watt power over the Ethernet. So let's open the box to find out more about this product and how we can use it, where we can use it. And of course included at the box we have and the operation instruction if you want to read it's your choice but stay with me we're going to find out all about this product template make the screw holes at the wall and then install if you want at the wall the switch we can see the cross screw holes here i like that or if you want you can use this uh, soft uh, silicone pads one, two, three, four, just stick it at the bottom if you want to have it at the table, wherever you want, wherever it is more suitable for you to connect all your cameras through the PoE. Screws included, power cord, 30 centimeter. One point two meters the cable. Connect that at the back here. DC in. The power adapter. It is uh, one hundred to two hundred forty volt input. Max one point six amp output. Fifty two volts. Two point three amp. One hundred twenty watts. Quite heavy. I like that. Ground screw at the back. Very robust metal, robust housing, ventilation left and right here, the power LED indicator at the front, 8 PoE plus ports 100 megabits per second with a max output power per port 30 watts, total output 120 watts, 2 gigabit ethernet uplink port here, 1, 2, and 1 to 8 100 megabit with LED indicator for each port with multiple protection mechanisms automatically detect whether the device connected to its ports is a PoE device and whether it needs to be powered to avoid damage it will not supply power to non PoE devices 4 kV surge protection for the connected devices and ensure their long term of use and it works perfectly with your PoE cameras and transfers both data and electric power. I like it. Reolink logo on a black color. So let's plug it in. Power LED indicator. And let's connect one of my Reolink cameras. See how it works. Three cameras, all are connected at the PoE switch. The first uh, camera is connected through the Ethernet cable only for transfer data. I need a power adapter 12 volt to use this camera. The second camera, it is uh, power over the Ethernet, only one cable, data and power. And the same for the third camera, only one cable, power over the Ethernet. For all these cameras I have made a video, you can check down below the description or after the end of this video. And we can see and other switch. The first LED light it is on, the second it is not on because it is only for transfer data and the third it is on. First and third it is for transfer data and power. I like it, it is so convenient. You can connect maximum 8 devices. Secure all your home with the Reolink surveillance cameras and use only one cable. So convenient. If you want to find out more about this product and where you can buy it, you can check down below the description. There is a link, just click it and find more information. More videos are coming from Reolink. Stay tuned, subscribe, share this video and hit the notification bell. Have a nice and lovely day. Bye bye.